Everybody uh, enjoyed a great night of boxing, uh, and uh, the man on my right fought a hell of a fight, uh, and uh, all credit to him. Uh, uh, I thought it was a tremendous performance uh, by Mr. Lomachenko, so let me turn it over to him. So so this one it is, I'm happy. I want to stay, say thank you. You, Bob, Mr. Bob, you, uh, company Top Run, who gave me this second chance. It was an unbelievable night for me, for our team. I never forget this night. And uh, see you next time. Uh, before we get to the media questions, I'd like to kick it over to Loma's manager, Agus Kings. Um, and I'm going to say, just like it is, this is the biggest robbery in the middle of the day. Uh, for our team, Christmas came in the summer, and uh, we're not going to let it go. I guarantee we're going to protest. I guarantee we're going to appeal that decision because uh, somebody needs to end this injustice. Somebody needs boxing to put in the place where it has to be. And it has to be a justice. Because uh, those judges, when they scoring a completely insane score, uh, they do not understand how those fighters are working hard to get into the place. And then being robbed like that, it's not acceptable, and uh, I guarantee we're not going to let it go. We're going to go all the way to the end to appeal and to... Maybe we're not going to win. Maybe, maybe it's going to be as it is. Most likely it's going to be. That, but we want to show what it has to be justice. Uh, so now we go to the media questions. Uh, we got Gabriel and Steve running mics. Only people that get the microphone uh, ask the questions. Thank you. I just had one question for Bob and one question for Mr. Lomachenko. Bob, I know it's a tough position for you to be in, but who did you have winning the fight? What did you say? Who did you have winning the fight? I'm a promoter, I'm not a judge. But, uh, you know, everybody around me uh, scored, was, you know, all the fans around me who were neutral uh, thought it was uh, a pretty one-sided fight. Uh, for Lomachenko, so everybody was stunned when the judges' scorecards were read. But I'm not going to comment myself because I'm the promoter and that would be wrong. And so my question is this, after 12 rounds when the bell rang, did you know in your heart of hearts you felt as though you won? Look, during all fight, I control the fight and uh, uh, all fight, I understand. I, I uh, win in this fight. I win this fight, so for me, of course, it was a big surprise. And then, then uh, 12 rounds end. I was, I was, uh, I was, I was sure I, I won this fight. But it is what it is. And this is for Agus and Vasily. Agus over here. Um, the tenth round seemed to be the clearest round that Loma won in the fight. He won it convincingly. Dave Moretti scored that round for Haney. What are your thoughts on that? I was the first protested Dave Moretti to have as a judge. And we protested that to commission. And the commissioner told he is one of my best judges. And that proved today again. Loma, a uh, question for you, uh, to your right. It seemed like you, you know, Keith just asked about the 10th round, but it seemed like you won down the stretch most of those rounds. Uh, the judges gave all, almost all the rounds down the stretch to uh, Devin Haney. How did you see the final end of that fight? And did you feel like coming out after the 11th into the 12th that you needed to fight hard to win?
Yes, of course. Of course, I feel I, I feel during the fight, I feel I, I take this fight, I control this fight, uh, I control every round. And I, for me, it's a big, big question what happened in the result today. Loma, Egis, uh, I spoke with so, so many fighters, even legends, and they told me this phrase, boxing needs to be really sad tonight because it was, they mentioned, it was like a robbery. What can you tell to the people who, who still believe in boxing? I'm saying that it's a huge event for the, the world of boxing. The fans are really sad because of this decision. What can you tell guys? Look, we, we all love boxing. We all respect boxing. It's sometimes it's happened. Sometimes it's happened. My father always teach me during my life, you need to win uh, without question. Yeah, yeah, you need to win without a question. Looks clarified. But they maybe was not clear fight, they maybe was not a big domination from my side, but I understand it, because it's what it was, Haney was a not a new guy in the boxing, he's a good opponent, and you don't need to forget, he's bigger than me. This is a question for both Vegas and Vasily. Um, what do you hope to achieve from appealing? Is it a rematch you want? Look, first of all, we're not going to give it a rematch. Uh, and uh, I don't know. No, it's, uh, you know. Right now you're asking a question like you know, what you're going to do. So it's within time. We have to see it. We have to talk to the promoter. We have to see what's, what's available. And uh, uh, we will see. I think it was the last fight, Haney in 135, I think so. The city, we saw the pictures of you in the dressing room crying. Can you talk about how much it hurt to be on the wrong end of those scores? I just, I, I, I just, then I had a speech. Uh, I just uh, remember my son today called me seven times and every time tell me, hey, and then you, and then you. And in, th in this moment, then I remember this moment. Uh, it was very hard for me. What's wrong about crying? You know, when you're happy, you're smiling, you're laughing, everybody says, and if you cried a little bit, it's emotions. So I don't think anything wrong here. I cry sometimes too. Hey, lo hey, Loma. Hey. We'll cry today, later, but then camera. Hey, hey guys, Loma. Uh, first of all, I thought you won. I talked to Jorge Linares. He, won, he said you won by two rounds. Fernando Vargas said you won by two rounds. Eddie Reynoso said you won by two rounds. How many rounds do you guys think you won by tonight? I, I don't know. I can't tell you right now because now it will be not uh, a series from my side because, because I need to <coughs> sit down focus on the fight, uh, so uh, see, to see, to see the, the fight, and after that I can answer, but in 100% I don't lose this fight. Right here, in the front, Marcus Hayes with Fight Hub TV. Vasily, uh, congratulations on a good fight tonight, win, lose, or draw, you represented yourself very well. Um, let me ask you, Late in the bout, you seem to be landing at will. You even look to have hurt Devin Haney uh, at some point in the fight. Uh, did you feel like you were going to be able to put him down late in the bout, or did you think he was kind of playing a little cat and mouse? Look, it was, I think it was one moment, I, I believe in the 10 rounds. I don't remember on a hundred percent, but one time uh, and one time I, I saw I saw his uh, bit bad situation. Uh, but I understand I need I need to uh, continue my strategy and uh, focus on my strategy. Vasil, though, congratulations, man, on a hell of a performance tonight. 
Uh, where does Devin Haney? Where does Devin Haney rank amongst all the fighters you faced in the pros? You know, Lenares, Gary Russell, Tiafimo. Where does Devin stack up? You know what? I want to see you fight Artis with Haney. It will be very interesting. But if you're talking about Linares, if you're talking about Lopez, for me, they are better than Haney. Steve, good evening. Kale Warner Sports, right here, Loma. Uh, congratulations, man, on a great fight. A lot, Devin was making a lot made of, he was calling you dirty, being that you were fighting on the inside and on the clinches. There was a lot going on on the inside. Could you talk about uh, that part of the fight, please? Today you saw a fight. Did you see some dirty, dirty moment during the fight? So it's a, it's an answer. Now maybe he, he tried to play with the mind. Maybe it was part of his plan. But maybe you better ask him what he means because I don't understand. Uh, right here in the back, uh, my name is Kyle Davis from the boxing section. Where do you rate? Uh, what ha what do you rate Devin Haney's body work tonight? Uh, I think it will be from his side. It will be uh, a little bit different, but he, then he starts boxing from first round. He almost he always still continue do the same. And uh, after that, I understand he can't change nothing during the fight. He do always his uppercut, right? I think so, yeah, right uppercut. And you, everybody talking about his jab. So today was not his time, the jab. Bob, I have a question for you, Steve Kim again, right here, Bob. I know there's a lot of talk of protesting, and I've heard for years about the need for a new generation of judges. Why are certain judges so entrenched year after year? That's a, a question that should be asked uh, the, the commission. They appoint the judges. One side objects to a judge. They generally change them. In this case, they wouldn't change them. Uh, it seems sort of strange to me. We have. American fighting a Ukrainian and all officials are American. I mean, it doesn't happen that way any other place in the world. But again, that's not my pay grade. I'm a promoter and the commission runs things in Nevada. All right, uh, one more for long. Uh, how you doing, Lomachenko? First of all, great fight. Uh, Joseph Sewell, Town B is Sports and Entertainment. Do you feel you should have tried to maybe hurt him and go for a knockout earlier? And what you would correct if you got a second shot at him? What do you feel that you could have did different to just, you know, sway the judges to go in your favor? <laughs> it's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because because then I then I, I fighting every every round then I come back in the corner I understand. Okay, it's my round, it's my round and I understand. And then I go in the twelfth round, I understand. Okay, maybe I need to a little bit um uh, defense and I can give him this round. I don't need win this round because I I uh, I was winning uh another eleven rounds. Looks like I, I don't I don't say it every eleven rounds, but during eleven rounds I understand it, it was my it was my score, and uh, I don't know maybe I don't understand boxing. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, thank you, Vasily, for, for joining us today for the post fight press conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.